My name is Drew and I'll be your tour guide today. We're going to be seeing the western side of Yellowstone as uh, Yellowstone's too big to see in one day. Um, let me show you guys where we're going. We are at the Madison Campground. We're going to come out here and head south. Go to the lo Lower Geyser Basin. The fountain paint pots are there. We're going to go see that. And there's also the Great Fountain Geyser. The Midway Geyser Basin has the Grand Prismatic Spring. Biscuit Basin. Upper Geyser Basin. And that's going to lead us right back to Old Faithful. Alright guys, I can't keep that up very long, but I need to uh, go get my teeth brushed. They're actually um, pretty careful about the groundwater around here, so they ask that you don't even brush your teeth or anything outside. Just use the restroom for any uh, services that you need. I completely understand and respect that, so I'm going to go run and brush my teeth real fast, and then we'll get started on today's trip. Look at that. Y'all think I need one of those? I've been thinking I need one of those. All right, they actually have trash cans here, so I'm going to throw away my trash and then we're gonna hit the road. Now we wait. There's a somewhat of a wait getting in some of these places. Just there's as many people leaving as coming. Just takes a while to park and all that business. So no big deal. Nice guys, a parking spot.
All right, guys, next we're going to see some more geysers and the prismatic spring, which I've really, really been looking forward to. Uh, it's just up the way. Let's take a drive. We have opted to walk instead of fighting the parking lot. All right, can't wait to see this one. Oh, I need my legs. All right, guys, we're hiking back. I gotta say, the prismatic pool was a bit of a letdown. Surely it was beautiful, but you just can't see it. I mean, you're looking at a flat plain, basically. There was a little bench for you to step up on, but it just wasn't enough, so. Luckily, I had my tripod, so I held it like 10 foot in the air and got a little better pictures, but it's really tough. All right, guys, we hit the fountain paint pots. Then we went to a Midway Geyser, Prismatic Springs. Sinclair came through with that 87, 499 a gallon. All right, we are topped off with gas and now we don't have to worry about it until well into Montana, which is good because uh, I didn't really know how far the next gas station was gonna be, so. All right guys, I'm headed back to camp. I might stop at one more place. We'll just see how crowded it is. It's just so impressive. There's something about it makes you want to touch it too. I don't know. That was the washing machine. I'm just saying. Fading, slowly to the 
Now I'm curious how they get them out. Let's look at the back. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right, guys, rolling out of my campground. Madison Campground is a pretty nice place. The only thing that they are lacking is cell phone service, which is this whole area, so I don't blame them. 
I'd like to hit one more trail on the west side of Yellowstone. Now we wait. And wait. Heck yeah, we got us a spot. Alright guys, I think this is like a mile and a half walk, so we better cover up all the windows, and yeah. Doesn't that look so inviting? So we go that way to the waterfall, this way to the overlook. Alright guys, we are back at the Yellowstone map. We are currently right here. It's around, it's around 12 miles to there. 14 miles to there, 12 miles to there, and 2 miles is about where I was trying to go. But I'd hate to drive all that distance and the rain not break because it's raining pretty good now. So I have seen about half of Western Yellowstone here. And. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to call that done. It's 1 o'clock now. Uh, I do have a little spot I can get service if I drive about two more miles south. So I'm going to drive back there, make a couple phone calls, and then we're headed to Montana. Uh, I wish I could see all of Yellowstone. I could stay here for two months and not see all of it. So uh, I'll definitely be back. I've had a wonderful experience here. And... Uh, can't wait to come back. I'll pay for half the gas if y'all are coming. <laughs> All right, I better head out. Welcome to Montana. Oh, thanks. Uh, I didn't have my GPS actually selected on the route. I just had, just looking at the map, so I guess it didn't tell me welcome, but I just entered into Montana, state number seven, and it looks like we're about to drive out of the Yellowstone National Park. and. Uh, and yeah, then I'm gonna get to a town, hopefully have a little bit of service. And then my campground's about uh, an hour past that, so. Golly. Well, I'm bummed that I didn't see any meese, but I had a good time at Yellowstone and I cannot wait to come back. Ate at the Montana Outpost. It's pretty good. I had the club sandwich. Um, I looked and it's actually like an hour and a half to my campground still, so let me get on the road and push on. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. Like 
All right, guys, I made it to camp. Um, they have a fire ring. I don't think I'm going to burn a fire. Anyways, uh, it's a beautiful spot. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's take a look. I forgot to mention, it is kind of windy. Says Aunt Sheila's number one. All right, guys, that is Lake Ennis, Montana. Beautiful spot. Um, there's a fella standing behind me. He's in like a 77 Chevy, uh, maybe a GMC RV. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's really quiet out here. It's a little windy, but uh, let's check out the Blue Eddy. Uh, 79 watts coming in the Blue Eddy, which is huge because I haven't seen the sun in like three days. Got some dill pickle seeds and uh, ice cold sun kissed water. Life is pretty good in Montana. All right, guys, I'm going to go hang out with this fella for a little while and do some chatting and let the Blue Eddy charge. I might put the laptop on right now so it can boost off that. All right, now you can see we got 79 coming in and 33 going out to the laptop. If I get that charged, I should be able to get a video out tomorrow. Can y'all see all these mosquitoes? I don't want to suck my blood. How's it like 50 degrees and there's mosquitoes? What are you doing, Montana? All right, guys. I got to show you all this beautiful sky. I'm um, taking a time lapse of this. Which I'll show you in just a second. But look at all of the sky. Whoa, Big Sky Montana is like 30 miles that way, by the way. Actually, Big Sky Montana is probably right behind that. And there's the moon. Lake was nice. Met a nice fella here. He was driving like an old Chevy RV. Um, I'm headed to Missoula. I need to get better cell phone service so I can try to get this video up. There's a Planet Fitness and I need a shower. So here we go. I'm pretty sure we gotta take the slow lane on this hill. 